Oh, hello guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another one of those videos where I'm free roaming so I can kind of try to think. Well, I'm answering this question. I had a viewer say, um, could you do a video of how you met, started working with Loki? And um, some of you might know some of the story. And you're going to hear me doing things, but that's okay. It helps me concentrate. But um, it's actually a really complicated answer. Um... Because a lot of this I didn't find out until maybe recently, like within the last couple years. But I, I've always had Loki with me in different forms. And I don't, I don't think it's Loki taking credit for other things. It's actually been, Loki's always been here all my life. So he's been here 40 some years. And... To his credit, he knew, you know, at first I didn't know anything about Norse gods, so um, he only tried once appearing in a dream as himself. And um, here was this guy, um, and he appeared to me, he looked rather um, muscular compared to like how we depict him today. And he had these, um, what I thought were gauntlets on, and, uh, you know, I realize now they're, like, cuffs, like, from having been chained. And he, you know, had, like, um, I think just, like, a, um, fur around, like, not like a tunic, but, like, on the bottom half, so, like, wrapped around. And, you know, he was standing by this roaring fire. And, uh, at the time, I really didn't, I don't know if I even knew who the Norse gods were yet. And this big scary guy, because <laughs> he looks scary to me, he comes running at me for a hug. And, uh, you know, he was smiling at me, he was being friendly, but I wanted nothing to do with him. I wanted nothing at all to do with him. He scared me. Um, and I did not come from the best home, you guys know that, so... Lucky had a lot of uphill battles, so what he would do is, um, since I was raised Roman Catholic, I wasn't really supposed to be working with other gods, but, um, he would appear in different forms. He, he liked using Pan a lot, because once I learned about Pan, I guess there was, like, some kind of connection for him there, and he was like, well, I can do that. I, I, I can be Pan. So he, he would appear as Pan a lot. Because, I don't know, somewhere in my Roman Catholic mind, um, well, I've always been a witch as well. You, you know that, obviously. You're kind of born one. Uh, he was... Uh, three. I'm counting on coffee here. He was... Um, Adaptable. I mean, he didn't quite seem like anything anyone said about Pam, but had you asked me and I had been able to articulate at the time, I would have said, yeah, I was working with Pam. And Loki did that because for some reason in this area, the Norse gods are um, forbidden. If you uh, look up Loki's uphill battle, you'll hear uh, some more on that. And... He was, you know, always very loyal. He was always here in one form or another, but he wasn't ever here as himself. So, when did I start working with him as himself? Um, I know it's over, been over... Oh, God. It's been before the Marvel film, so it's been 15... 20... 30, it's really, it's really hard to answer because I've worked with him all my life not knowing I was working with Loki. Um, he took on this uh, other form and was with me from like my early teens to like my young adulthood. And of course, anytime I thought I was praying to um, Yahweh, who will have nothing to do with me, uh... It was him, or Odin, or like Honir, or someone answering me, or um, 
Thor or someone, but, you know, often it was Loki. And so, in a way, I've always worked with him. But working with him as Loki has been more recent. And it's been... 20-some years? More? Less? I'm, I'm not actually sure. I'm bad with uh, time. But, um... Because it was never anything I wrote down. Because it was like, okay, here's this god. His name's Loki. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um... But yeah, when he first finally came as himself, and he did not tell me right away, oh, by the way, all these other experiences you have were me. He did not tell me that. Um, when he first came as himself, come to think of it, I think he was in yet another disguise. So it was um, when I finally realized it was Loki, and he finally unmasked, so to speak. Um, it was strange, because I'd already met him. I'd already had him with me all my life, and I knew it was him. And yet, he, you know, he wanted to have that ace in the hole. He kind of always likes to have, like, a uh, contingency plan if things go wrong, in my experience. So, here I had this god that I knew I'd have with me all my life. And Loki being Loki, um, first he would say yes, and then he would say no, because, you know, he wanted something to fall back on if we, we didn't work out with him as himself, because that had happened before with the dream, and with him trying to come forward as a Norse god. He had tried to come forward as I was a little girl as a Norse god, and I just, I was terrified of Loki. I would have nothing to do with him. So he's like, okay, if you won't take Loki, you'll get Pan, or you'll get someone else, or you'll get whatever god or goddess you're into when you get into Wicca. So it was, it was strange when he was finally like, okay, I've had enough of being all these other gods. I'm going to be me. It was strange because I'd already met him, and I'd already worked with him all my life, and like he's always been the one taking over Ouija boards and stuff like that. We we thought our house was haunted, but looking back, I'd say it was more just Loki going on a rampage and enjoying himself. Um, so it, it was odd. And there's, like, no one precise moment in time that I can tell you, yeah, he was finally Loki, and we could finally work together. It was just more and more and more he let all the, um, say, glamour, so to speak, wear off, and he let me see him for who he really was. And by the time he was finally fully Loki, um, you know, we, we had a lot to work out because it was like, well... Why didn't you tell me in the beginning? He's like, I tried, and you would work with me. And I'm like, I don't care. So we had that to go through. And then we had, I've said in the past, you know, when you start working with a god, you go and you look for people to work with him. And it seemed like he wanted to challenge whether or not I really loved him and wanted to work with him. Because I always was starting into, like, the absolutely worst, most combative Lucians on the planet. And so, it was really hard couple of years there. It was like, I would work with him, and then I'd be like, go away, Loki. So, of course, Loki, being Loki, he would just take other forms. I'd work with him as a dragon, as a tango, as, like, all these other forms. Uh, he will take on the forms of other goddesses as well. Because, um, I said goddesses because he has that goddess path. Because he was like, no one else is getting near you. I mean, he lets the whole Norse pantheon near me. Lysanta's here and others are here as well. But, you know, like all the African deities are here. But um, he he's very, in a way, he's like, no, you don't need these other gods. You have me, so I'll just show up as them. And um, when we finally really started working good together... Um, it, it was good, but, you know, it's always hard when people say, well, when did you start working with him? Because in a way, I've worked with him all my life, but also in another way, like, 
what people will recognize as working with Loki would be more recent. And I can't like give you like a uh, specific year, but uh, to be truthful, I, I've worked with him all my life. I haven't known it was him. <laughs> he was really good at that. But he was also trying to protect me as well. Because remember, I was raised Roman Catholic. And my parents were kind of open. Like, if you talk to ghosts or... And I thought I was talking to a ghost. Or if you did something else, they were okay. If you, like, worked with spirits, that was kind of like working with saints. And they were okay. So Loki was, like, really being Loki and really being smart. Uh, remember, this is the god we're told he spent eight years living underneath the ground. That's, like, the exile queen part. Um, nursing babies. So he was a goddess for eight years living underneath the ground. So he will do kind of what it takes. So I'd say everyone has a unique way of meeting him. Because I have yet to hear of anyone else that was like... I've heard of people that... The one book I had on... Um, oh my god, where's her book? Um, I'm looking for her book. Um, no, it wasn't, wasn't, wasn't worshipping Loki, it wasn't this, it wasn't this, uh, Beyond Reason, Beyond Reason by, um, Heather Frey's daughter, um, yeah, that one is the one that talks about <laughs> Loki tricking her, showing up as her muse, and being with her for, like, I guess, years, until he finally reveals who he is, so, um, you... If you're just meeting Loki now, you may have actually known him for years. And he may not be honest about it right away. Because he does like to kind of have that exit plan just to be just to be close to you. For a long time he was like, no, that wasn't me. And then like he's fine, like, yeah. Now that I'm sure you're staying, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. But um, you may have known him for a long while. And even if you haven't... Um, you know, he's a really good god to work with. He's really loyal. He's really funny. He's really um, intuitive. Um, I don't know if it comes from being a god, but he's, like, highly telepathic. Like, we will have these back-and-forth conversations <laughs> all the time. Um, he's, he's just, you know, he's really loving and caring. So, you know, in the end, it doesn't really matter how you met him. I think we all met him differently. But, um, you know, I'd say let Loki take the lead when you're working with him, if you're nervous about working with him. And he will. He'll, he'll like, happily take the lead. And just, you know, you can't really do anything wrong with him because he'll, he'll adapt to, you know, however you live. And as long as you're, you're being your real self, you don't have to put anything on to work with Loki. He's not one of those gods. He doesn't expect you to, you know, be yourself all the time and then be something else for Loki. He actually wants you to be yourself. And so I, I hope that helped. Um, he is a really good god to work with. He's a very loving, very loyal god. I mean, you once Loki loves you, he, you're not getting rid of him. And um, so, you know, don't be afraid when the relationships knew that he's just, he's going to go somewhere. He's not. Um, he's very sweet and he's very kind. He's very loving. And, and the only time I've ever had him angry is when he thought I was like putting myself in danger or I wasn't living up to my potential or something. So it's more like being angry and frustrated because he thinks something is going wrong for you, not you know, angry at you. He doesn't usually get angry at people. I have a talent for doing it, but he usually doesn't get angry at people. I mean, we're married. We sometimes... Rah, rah, rah. So, yeah, I hope that helps, guys. And um, if there are any other videos you would like to request, I'll be happy to do those. Somebody asked me about working with uh, Yurgi and Fenny. You know, Yurga Mondor and Fenrir and... Uh, yeah, I can I can make a video on that sometime too. Um, it's it's percolating in my head at the moment. It's like it's not quite coming out, but it's percolating in my head at the moment. So I hope that helped. And if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.